Hi and welcome to the channel, my name is Anos and yeah, uh, this is a kind of a video, it's a mixed video, it's about whoops and it's about some other stuff, but it's also a video just to sort of show all my whoops, because um, uh, shout out to uh, Explicit FPV, this is kind of for you, here are my whoops, right? So, um, brushed whoops, I've got quite a few, five of them here, these are just for line of sight. These are uh, this one is uh, the the one the first one I think I got was the was this one the E zero uh, one zero and um, I've put an extra one on it because I kind of modified this one with uh, some souped up motors from um, Razor Star which I've done to all of these these are like instead of the fifty I think it came with these fifty four fifty eight seven kV motors then you got these fifty nine sixty KV motors and they work much better on these. So this is just the Fury B F3 um, F36 thir sorry, Fury B F36 uh, still flying amazingly it's, I mean this is really old. But it's a great line of flight thing if you're going to a party and you don't want to bring your FPV gear and you just want to have something fun, sorry about the camera and you just want to have something fun that you can put in your pocket and pull out and you know oh, I'm a drone pilot yeah. oh, I'm a drone pilot yeah. <laughs> anyway it's Saturday cheers Christmas beers have come out so I'm just sitting here chilling I've gotten some practical things done today um let's put that one away this is the um the SP Racing F3 board, I think it's the V2, the latest one they made, where there actually is a current sensor on board, which is very nice. Um, I've been tuning this to try and make uh, Horizon mode really, really great. Um, these are all, this has got Beta Flight on it. Um, this has got, this is, what is this? Oh, this is the Santa drone that I modified, pulled off the speaker. <clears throat> it actually plays uh, Santa music, so you could be really annoying this Christmas. I might put the speaker back on just for the hell of it to FPV around while playing uh, stupid Christmas songs like Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells in really bad quality. A lot of fun. It flies really great. I don't know if it's going to fly great with the uh, speaker on added weight, you know, but other, way, other than that, this thing flies really great. Uh, with a um, a multi-protocol module, you can control this one um, with your <coughs> Tyrannus radio or something like that that can take a multi-protocol module. Um, yeah, this one is a D8, so that can be controlled with this, which is very nice. Put that one up there. This is a build for a friend of mine because um, he's starting out flying drones and he's getting the Tyro 79. Um, I know, I know, I know. Powerful drone for... A guy who's just starting out, but he's been flying toy drones before, and uh, I'm gonna get him into a Ryzen mode, and then eventually into Acro mode. This one flies really nicely on Horizon mode now, but I've made some progress in Emu flight on Horizon mode. Excuse me, that beer didn't go down well. Uh, with this one, I got in Horizon mode to fly absolutely unbelievable. It correct just at the right time so you can actually do soft power loops as if you were flying acro um i'm gonna be tweaking that but i heard um i'm part of the facebook group and the discord and um on facebook someone shouted out uh, um that you know the next version the uh, and version 1.0 of emo flight which is coming soon i mean progress is going really fast it's amazing shout out to emo flight uh thank you very much for all you're doing uh, i'm pleasantly surprised and i'm happy that we have uh, another contender on the market for flight controller software um other than beta flight so that is open source that is doing some different things with some different film tours and stuff and i can feel it this is um this is one of my best quads, like of a, of a two inch. So I want to, I'm going to put Emo Flight on this if I can. And I'm, I'm going to be putting Emo Flight on this as well. I'm just going to be, I mean, they're almost the same, not the same weight though, but I have to put Emo Flight on anything I can put Emo Flight on because it's just working really, really well. Totally cold motors, uh, absolutely amazing performance. Yeah. Um, no issues. Tuning is very easy. You don't have to do anything almost, but 
Horizon mode is different. Okay, let's get back to these whoops. So this is like a Santa drone. That's nice as well. My friend's drone. Let's put this up here. I, I, I really need space. To, here we go again with the camera. Sorry about that. So, um, this is also a SP Racing F3 board. And it's running beta flight as well. I've been working on horizon mode and beta flight to get that to fly better, and it's flying a lot better with the parameters that I've set here. But there's going to come a lot of more about uh, horizon mode and later because I'm still in. I mean, uh, I just started about a month ago uh, to try and make horizon mode fly great again, and I can't fly every single day. Uh, I just get tired of you know of uh, experimenting. So. Um, but I do write my stuff down and you know where I got to and everything on my computer but uh, this is the these are both SP Racing F3 boards but this one is the Queen F3 so this has got space for a beeper and it is a little bit of a different layout and it's definitely one of my favorite drones this has got the 716 716 uh, motors and these ones have the, uh, the 615s so and I think these are 7 Seven sixteens. I'm. I'm not sure. I can't remember. I'm sorry, but the bigger motors anyway, and that makes it fly really, really well. So, for small brush motors, about I would use tri blades for for these if they're light built. But for something like this, that's a little bit. It needs a little bit more. So, four blades is great. Uh, old cameras. I've changed the angle of. Yeah. Anyway. And this has got an extra VT. Uh, this has got an extra VTX underneath. Uh, the only problem with this is it doesn't have a current sensor, so it just uh, drops out of the sky when current gets too low. But you know, that's okay. I get around one or two minutes flight time. One forty-five minutes racing around, racing. That is so heavy on the throttle. The uh, same with all of these because I'm getting quite good at flying these things. So that's great. Uh, moving on. Those were the brushed. Now to the uh, brushless, I've got, this is all I got. I got the Mobler, uh, Mobler 7 and the UK 65, um, or US 65. And stuck motors, stuck everything, except for the frames. I had to change those. Everybody had to change those. We're not talking about that anymore, but production did have go really really fast and it was winter time but um this is a different type of frame i have actually added the trash can <laughs> led on the back shining pink um just for the hell of it because you can see that everywhere it's just a really bright color um don't have any batteries for you so i can show you unfortunately maybe here yeah We've got some batteries here. So, uh, let's just go like this. It's a great sound. I love the sound when you turn on drones. I did change the tone, but you can see that's really bright. So, that's really nice. I can fly it with uh, this one as well, because it's got the EU LBT six, um, D16. So that's really, really freaking nice. Because uh, I ordered this one with the XM Plus receiver. Hence the two funky antennas that I should actually do something with. But I've just put them here. I haven't had any issues uh, yet. So so why do why put on extra weight? You know, you just go like that. They're fine. They're out of the way. And if it lands on its head, yeah, you might clip the antenna. But I've got lots of spare antennas still with the stock camera um why is, i put some foam underneath the camera because it was hitting the well i was kind of scared that it was going to be hitting the board so yeah um these screws are very loose as you can see but i run a pretty high angle about as high as you can get because of the foam and um yeah that seems to work great high angle well, so it's flying like this, so that's pretty good. That's good. That's fast. Um, what else can I say about them? I've got uh, lots of parts that have come in so I can build my own. 
whoops this winter, which I'm looking forward to. Um, I'm not going to start yet because I've got these to fly with, so I'm not really bothered. They fly really great. Um, I think I've got Emo Flight on this one, and um, I'm going to use the new uh, Horizon things that I figured out to do that. And because the this does have the Chris B a three board, and I th that is supported, I think. I think I I think I have uh, Emo Flight on at least one of these. This has got the Crazy B F3 Pro board as well. I could change that out to an F4 because I do have that, but I'm gonna build my own. So, but I think that's all I've got about Whoops. Um, let me know in the comments if you want any more information on these camera uh, camera drones. Well, that's what I was about to say about these tiny tiny Whoop kind of drones. Uh, tiny doctor drones. I'll I'll answer all your comments and questions down below. Um, because I've actually, that's how I got into the hobby. I started with whoops because that was what was popular when I started. And then, um, you know, and it's just slowly progressed. And the reason is that I have this cottage, you know, I, I do have a roomies that I, that I have, uh, that I live with, but he's, he's not, you know, uh, he's not too keen on me flying around. It's, we've got a really tiny apartment. So I've got this extra homestead. Uh, on rented land, the uh, place that I, and that's where I can fly. So, and it's really tiny. I don't want to bother anybody. Uh, and I do want to fly inside sometimes because it does get cold here in Denmark. So, um, and so that's why I got started because it was kind of, you know, that was, that was my possibility. It was a way for me to try and learn acro and controlled uh, circumstances. Uh, but, uh, you know, at my own pace as well. And yeah, inside inside one thing i have done and you might have noticed is i have actually put on my own connectors and these are solid pin um these also wear out with time and one thing that i'm thinking about doing is i'm gonna upgrade some batteries and some of one of these drones or something to uh ph 2.5 did you know they existed did you know why don't they use these for batteries they're not that much bigger and these actually have quite a lot of more surface area, the pins. And um, and they are a bit bigger, the plugs, but they don't weigh so much more. But the plugs, they do have more surface area and yeah, a bit different. You can't just... so. And this wire is just way too thin so for a power cable. So I'm going to have to do something uh, with the... You know, take these pins out, put in my own wires, and then... Uh, solder those on to the battery and do the same to this one and then hopefully that should work so i'm going to be doing that to this one as well because these plugs even though they are good uh or okay uh if you are using 1200 kv motors like me 1103s 1s on a quite a heavy build about 50 or 60 grams, 58, I think 57 point something with the battery, then um, these plugs do burn out. I mean, I don't know if you can see this, but this plug, I mean, you can see it's like corroded like as hell. I'm going to show you what a new one looks like next to it. Here we go. So you can see the difference of the two. You see that? It's not shiny anymore and it's like looks burnt so it's corroded was that a mosquito anyway, so it's corroded quite a bit and these are folded pins as well uh, so yeah don't know what I like I don't know what I think about them I mean they're the same they're just folded they're really thin so I wouldn't go that way either but I do have a lot of batteries with these on you can still get batteries with these on uh, but and, you know, unless you're running something that is not so amp hungry like this one, then I think you should be fine. But I'm when as soon as you start getting these corrosion marks, then you should do something, you know, find a different plug. And I am going to be converting my batteries to these ones. That's what I think anyway, because they just seem to be better quality, solid pin as well. So hopefully that will help. Um, yeah. I don't think the wire needs to be changed on the batteries. That'll be fine. 
don't mind having a little bit of resistance here just but this whole thing has to change this whole cable I mean I need something fatter there and um, maybe I'll try with this one as well see if I get you know this is brushed but also with my brushless ones Ooh, damage I haven't seen that hmm. Anyway, enough about uh, this rambling on about these things and my plans with these uh, power uh, leads. But, you know, it's... I've had these for a while, didn't know what to use them for. And um, this was actually for another project. But um, just as a power lead, you know, for inside. Yeah, I had something different, something else for a computer once that needed one of these power leads. Um, JST 2.5. There is, you can get them bigger, I think, as well, because, or is this a 2.5? I think this was the, yeah, this is it. This was the one I needed it for. This is a, yeah, buck up. This is for, um, you can see you can get them bigger. You see that? So, you can get them larger with larger pens, these JST ones. That one looks like it's supposed to be for a three pin, but it only has two. So... Uh, old computer part for a light for a computer so anyway hope you like this video uh, stay tuned for more RC and drone related content and thank you for watching all the way to the end as well and comment down below hit the annotation bell and all that really good stuff that helps the channel it really really helps so uh, thank you commenting helps a hell of a lot thank you very much I answer all the comments I get uh, because I really love answering comments. Uh, it's always fun. So, yeah. Uh, not much else to say. Hope you're staying safe. And as always, fly hard.